Okay, hi YouTube. Um, you know, the other video I did was the nigga flip video. I was about people flipping around and doing stuff wrong and then flipping around on you like you did something wrong to them. So I only really say stuff that really like strikes me as odd or, you know, something I think, um, it's a little hot in here. Um, stuff that strikes me as odd or I think that should be addressed. I was in the doctor's office Friday and so it's this lady in the doctor's office having a conversation, a, a really adult conversation, um, in front of her kids. Um, you know, I've been going through this whole thing with um, struggling with schools with my son, and I'm, I'm putting him in private school this year because I'm just fed up with the riffraff. But anyway, so she's having this conversation with her son, I mean, on the phone, in front of her son, and she's saying stuff like, and I'm trying to ignore I'm really trying to ignore and she says, um, stuff like, well, the only reason I was her friend is because I wanted her man. And she, wait till I tell her, I'm going to cuss her ass out. I'm a, and I'm thinking, poor baby. I'm thinking poor baby has got to put up with this foolishness. Do people not care about what they say? In front, do y'all not care about what y'all say in front of your kids? That was totally a conversation she could have had. She could have told him to step outside. Or she could have stepped outside for that matter. If it was a conversation you had to have, I have adult conversations, but if my children are around, you know, I do the mommy code talk, you know, I'd be spelling words and doing the, uh, you know, the, you know, the adult code thing. She was just talking and talking. So, you know, if I heard her who she wasn't even talking to and I wasn't with her, excuse me, you know, her son heard her and I'm just thinking. And then I started to think, see, this is the little kid that got to come to school. Now, he going to grow up to probably think women ain't no good. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because she talking about taking somebody's man and uh, I could have him if I wanted him. And just all kind of foolishness in front of this boy. First of all, why do you want somebody else's man? I don't care what they say about a man shortage. It ain't no such a thing. It ain't no such a thing as a man shortage. So you can get your own man. Why do you want somebody else's man? And then, why are you having this conversation in front of your child? I'm just looking at her like she's a derelict. Because she is just a derelict dummy. And so then I'm thinking, okay, he's going to grow up to hate women. Or think all women is like his mama. Because you're the first role model that a child has. is the mother and the father. And then you're going to send him to school with my kid. Or he's going to grow up and try to date my daughter. Not, he's not going to date my daughter. But he's going to go to school, try to go to school with my son, and he's going to bring all these old screwed up ideas and, you know, thought patterns, because you done screwed them up. So the video is about, please monitor yourselves in front of these children, because these children are already growing up too fast with TV. Y'all don't monitor what they watch on TV. You let them play any kind of games. You leave them with these teenagers who don't monitor what they say, so they're seeing and hearing all kind of foolishness. And I'm telling you, it models and molds their personalities and I just kept looking at this little boy in the doctor's office and I hope you have you the woman who it is I wish I had her name and I wish I hope that you know by fate of the universe that she stumbles upon the video because you know who you are Dr. Fowler's office on Friday and um, watch what you say around your children really you cannot have these adult conversations about sex and drugs and alcohol and partying and adult themed things in front of these children you shouldn't have them if you want to have free willy-nilly conversations first of all let's say just because you have a cell phone you don't have a free willy conversation okay I don't want to hear your conversation all willy-nilly I really don't give a damn okay step your ass outside I don't want to hear your conversation Second of all, if you wanted to be just free, then you shouldn't have had kids. You should have wore a condom. You should have took some birth control pills, got a diaphragm, an IUD, a rhythm method, something. Because once you have children, then you are no longer first. You are no longer number one. I tell my son that he's 24 and he had no kids. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Sure appreciate not making me somebody's grandma. But um, you don't come first anymore. You have to consider them. So if you didn't want to, to be in that position, then you should have... You know, not having a baby is the easiest thing in the world to do. Everyone I got, I want it. So, I don't know how come you can't work it out. You know, all that willy-nilly sex and stuff. But however, if you didn't want them, then, you know. But now that you have them, you cannot be having these adult conversations in front of these kids. That's what's wrong with them now. Nobody is policing what they're hearing, what they're seeing. You let them play these 
Grand Theft Auto games and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. I was so perturbed by her in the doctor's office having this conversation with this boy. I just, I couldn't believe that people just, I guess I could believe. I guess I could believe. I guess in the fantasy world, in my mind, I want to think that people care about their children and they, you know, want to keep them children as long as they want. And, you know, I have a seven-year-old who is a real little boy. He is a little boy. He don't know nothing about no butt-naked strippers. And, uh, in fact, that's funny that I say that because the other day somebody was talking about something. Oh, Michael Basin was talking about can a Christian be an exotic dancer? And Wise was in the background. That's my son. He was like, what's an exotic dancer so he don't even know he don't know nothing about that because i monitor what he sees and i monitor the conversations that i have around him you know i really try my best to be a good parent and you know control what they see but obviously everybody doesn't do that and then you have your children have to co-mingle with these derelict kids and it's just not a good look it's not a good look they teach them to fight and cuss and they smoke weed around them hell they might let them smoke weed i don't know how they're getting down but it's crazy. It's crazy. You like you want to wrap your kid in plastic and put him in the Michael Jackson bubble or something. It's retarded. So I really felt sorry for that little boy. And little boy, if you ever see this video, you know who you are too. Just try to grow up and be a man. And I'm sorry that your role model wasn't the best. But because I'm sure if she was talking like that at the doctor's office, I can only imagine how she talks in the comfort of her own home. You know, I look tan today. Wow. I must have been in a few days at the beach. But anyway. Oh, I got new hair too. Y'all like this new hair? This is a wig. I forget the name of it. Because I know somebody going to ask. But it's cute. And I got icy gel on my hair right there. Y'all see it? It's so, it blends so well. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, I like this hair too. It's nice and soft. Anyway, if somebody want to know the name, I'll give you the name. Um, But yeah, I, I just was kind of disturbed. And today is Wednesday. And I went out of town Friday, so I couldn't really, you know, get with it. But I was disturbed. I was a little disturbed because, you know, I wanted to slap her and say, shut the fuck up in front of this baby. But um, I didn't, you know, I minded my business. You know, I did, did me. You know, I can only police mine and me. But, um, yeah, just don't, you cannot have those kind of adult conversations. Children deserve better. The Lord. They don't even want to hear that. Then they have to process all this information and all this new facts that they don't even know where to go. And then you wonder why they get these strange ideas when they're 15, 16 about women and sex. and Because you let them see all kind of craziness. I ended a friendship based on somebody, how they parent their children. That's for real. She was very um, loose with her children. She allowed them to watch rated R movies with very graphic sex scenes. Because I, I remember specifically being at her house and there was a sex scene. Now I'm grown and having sex. But um, I remember the scene was very um, graphic. Not graphic. It was. It kind of made me uncomfortable with the child sitting there. So I turned to her and I say, um, are you going to let her watch this? And she said, yeah. And I was like, oh. So I stored it in the back of my brain. And then, you know, there were several other incidences uh that happened with her and I just thought no I can't have my children around this kind of element because I work too hard to make sure that my children aren't tainted with such things and if my children play with your children for sure they're going to be tainted do not believe that your children can play with real rats and hood rats and parents who don't uh, police what they watch and what they see and think that it's not gonna rub off on your kid it's not true so if you even if you have relatives that uh, children, you know, are exposed to adult content, so to speak. Don't think that that stuff is not rubbing off on your kids. It is. So that's why most of the time my kids are at home with me. You know, there's not many people that can keep my kids. I don't play that. Because, you know, you just are exposed to... It's just a lot of stuff out there. And uh, so, yeah, it's very serious to me. Because, like I said, I ended a friendship with somebody who I felt like didn't just wasn't parenting her children she kind of was willy-nilly with it and then she i don't know she just wasn't you know and she has a right to be the kind of parent she is now i'm not judging her i really am not judging her um but i'm saying her style wasn't my style so i kind of had to cut that loose but um yeah i, I just wanted to tell y'all that but 
if you have children or if, even if you are a teenager and you are you ever are in control of children please be mindful of how you talk and what you say because they little ears and i know you want to have your little conversations and you want to have your little you know girl i told him or whatever just step on outside or send the kids outside or or text it you know and i know you can't you know talking as much more you know you get all the animation and all that but be mindful when you have children around because you know i know it's cliche but the children are our future and we really screwing the future up for real for real so that's all i had to say love you youtube talk to you later smooches